Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start to story. AITA for wanting some space after a fight with my wife, or did I just cross the line? I'm a 30-year-old guy, married to my wife for seven years. We've got two kids, a nine-year-old boy and a three-year-old girl. I play a sport professionally, so I'm often away, caught up in training and games. Despite the hectic schedule, I work hard to give my family a comfortable life, and because of that, my wife can stay home with the kids. Last week, I came home earlier than usual after a training session got cut short. My wife was thrilled because it meant we could have dinner together as a family, a rare treat since I'm usually not home before the kids go to bed. But here's where everything went south. I had promised a teammate I'd go to a little kickback at his place after training. So I told my wife, apologizing, but I knew I'd just be stopping by to shower and get ready quickly before heading out again. She got really upset, argued with me for a good 15 minutes, and said some things that stung. She accused me of being a distant father who barely knows his own kids. That hit hard and I got defensive, which led to me storming out. I ended up crashing at my teammate's place that night. I've tried apologizing, like, multiple times, but she's still giving me the cold shoulder. Honestly, I feel bad, but at the same time, I'm just trying to carve out a bit of time for myself. After everything, I'm left wondering, am I the asshole here, or is she blowing this out of proportion? I barely get any time to unwind, so I didn't think hanging with friends after a long day would be such a big deal. I apologize because I'm tired of the silent treatment and just want things to be normal again. My wife is unencumbered practically all the time. Our nine-year-old is in school from 8 a.m. to 3.30 p.m., and our three-year-old just started a private preschool program that's four days a week from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Her sister also provides childcare whenever she needs it. I am always putting in my effort it just happens to be working to put money into our account rather than staying at home with the kids. I've taken care of them for a week before during off-season and let my wife go on a vacation. It was easier than expected. Definitely not a full-time job, especially now with the youngest in school. When we started dating I was 18 and she was 23. Quickly we realized that our values were different. She always wanted things to be more serious than they were. When I was 20, she got pregnant and refused to get an abortion, despite me telling her I didn't want to be a parent this young. She told me to grow up. Two years later she proposed to me, she knew I would never propose, and we ended up getting married. Three years ago we had another accident and our daughter was born. I am a professional athlete and out of the home, traveling to games and training most of the time. She is always angry with me, I give her anything and everything she needs, amazing home, car, private school and services for my son who has special needs, private preschool, so she can get a break from the little one etc., but she is constantly complaining that my children barely know me, she never sees me, etc. We had a big fight last week that resulted in me spending the night at a teammate's house, and she's been giving me the silent treatment since then. Really, I want to tell her how she ruined my childhood by baby trapping me before I was ready, but I know that would end our relationship. We've been together for so long and I don't want to leave her, but I resent her. Is our relationship salvageable? Should I give up? For those of you saying I was an adult, Aikin is still very much a teenager, and you know it. I've spoken to my wife on the phone, just left this morning again for training, was posting on the car ride there, and it was reassuring. She has no intentions of divorcing me, for those of you saying that is the best option. She said herself that I am a wonderful father and husband and apologized to me, I don't know how Reddit's judgment of me can be so incredibly skewed. I just want some peace for my family. Well, I just got off the phone with my wife, or should I say ex-wife. She saw the Reddit post, as a friend sent it to her I guess. She went completely off the rails and I had to hang up on her at one point. She is at her mom's house with the kids right now. My life has been completely ruined. I am devastated and hope that we can somehow repair this. Thanks for the genuine advice to those giving it. When she called me back after I hung up on her, she said she'd be filing for divorce in the morning. Comments Christopherson Allen 
Man, you sure did come here, trying to make yourself look good after getting destroyed from your other post. OP, not trying to make myself look good. Just presenting the facts of the situation and getting my thoughts slash feelings off of my chest. No one needs to take my side, but this is how I feel, and I'm extremely distraught about the situation. Competitive Staff 38 Alla Didums. Get a fucking therapist then. Lord Buff 74 That would eat into his training and hanging with the boys' time. OP, I don't think I'm the one who needs a therapist. My wife has severe trauma too from her childhood, where both of her parents abandoned her when she was young. She used to have a therapist but stopped going. A lot of the problems started then. Josiah Bartlett Bro just leave, you clearly despise and resent your wife. OOP, I don't despise her, I do resent her, but I want to fix that. I don't want to throw away 12 years of my life. I also don't want to be paying her spousal support slash child support, as I know she's not very good with finances, and I'm worried my children would not even actually see any of the funds. Melodic Salamander 55 you can file for full custody then since you're such a hands-on dad. Rosalie, 83. He's not around enough for that. You need to be present to be a custodial parent. OOP, if we get divorced, I definitely will. No way I'm paying her child support when I know she won't spend the money on my children. Melodic Salamander, 55. How do you plan to win any custody when, by your own accounts, you're busy with your team? When's the last time you bought your kids' clothes on your own, without your wife's input? How often do you grocery shop alone? When was the last time you attended a pediatric appointment without your wife holding your hand? OOP, I have a great lawyer. I am a stand-up guy, hard worker, and have access to childcare when I'm away. My wife, on the other hand, would be unemployed with a public defender and a history of mental hospital admissions in college. I would be able to get custody easily and already have private nannies and tutors lined up if needed. Do noise 9837. The facts are that no one stole your childhood but you. You choose to have irresponsible sex, you chose to date and marry someone you didn't want to. You chose to be irresponsible again and impregnate her again. You chose a career where she has to do 99% of the parenting. Throwing money at your kids doesn't make you a dad. OP, irresponsible sex, by that you mean sex with a monogamous partner using birth control. That resulted in an unwanted pregnancy. Okay, she knew what career I chose before she pursued me while I was still in high school.